Chili Time to make fresh chili powder and save some seeds. I will start with the Karayulukia Scorpion Strand EF4 after the back cross. This refers of course to the seeds inside, as the fruits themselves are a product of the previous generation, of course. The fruits have dried for a couple of months now, simply by exposure to the air. Uh, maybe they also spent a few weeks on the radiator to get them nice and crunchy. And what I'm doing now, I simply break them apart in two halves. And I save some seeds from each fruit. And the fruit itself goes into the electric coffee grinder. Well, I've got a few seeds already. I think that's about enough. Pick up my mess. There we go. Yeah, that went not very well. Pick it all up. <laughs> there. This should be enough. On with the lid. And off to the electric outlet. Engage grinder. Time jump. Grinding complete. Mm, yeah, we need some space here. And let's see what we can see. Some of it is sticking to the lid. And there's the rest. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Smells good. Very aromatic and quite unique, I would say. At least I do not know anything comparable. Uh, I will pick some of the smaller fruits up from my little mobile chili mill. As I mentioned quite a few times, uh, my breeding line started to produce bigger fruits, um, but they are still small enough for my little mobile chili mill, and uh, this is something that's important for me. But I have to sort out the smaller ones. A few more. There we go, that's enough. This should do the trick. Since I have already enough seeds of this generation of the Cardiolokia Scorpion Strandy, the rest of the fruits go whole into the coffee grinder. On with the lid and off to the electric outlet. Commence grinding. Time jump. Stop. Okay, let's first clean off the lid a little bit. Yeah. Slightly sticky, the stuff. Okay, and here's the main event. Ah, that's a good amount. And also a little bit sticky. Good, 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 that's okay. And now put it in the storage container. The spice must flow, as they say. <laughs> Zip. Bam. Next up, the Carolina Reaper or Carolina Reaper Hybrid. And we have already seen enough of this, so time jump. Again, the seeds are F2, but the fruits are of course from the F1 plant. Small side note, if you do not use gloves, you get fiery fingertips. Ow. So you will at least have a hot thumb, if not a green thumb. And same procedure as before. Grind. Time jump. Uh. 
dann well the result is a coarse powder or maybe on the borderline to flakes that is of the typical more conventional red color my cardiolokia scorpion strain d is uh, more orange colored but this is the classical red color but it's a nice and deep red except for this dust on the lid it's a bit finer and maybe a little rest from the cardiolokia scorpion strain d so it's a little more lighter colored uh, which we will see shortly i think yeah okay i will add this to a container with some mixed powder from last year oh yeah and the aroma of the powder is uh, i would say very reminiscent of uh, super hot varieties of caribbean origin if you know what i mean Growing wise, I will focus on my two most recent crosses, the fruits I plucked off at the end of last year. And I think I will try something aquaponic and I will use this tree onion for some testing. I also have some uh, little containers from water plants which I will probably also use. 